I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Former Olympic figure skater Christy Yamaguchi might want to rethink the wording of a congratulatory tweet she sent to fellow former Olympic figure skater and 1994 knee-clubbing victim Nancy Kerrigan, who is currently competing on Dancing with the Stars. Christy tweeted to Nancy the words, break a leg. Ouch. Poor word choices. The cover of Time magazine asks the question, is truth dead? Well, of course it is. Ha! Fooled ya! I lied. U.S. states have a legal drinking limit of .08. Well, Utah's governor said he will sign a bill that would make his state the first in the nation to lower the drunk driving limit to .05 percent. So if you plan on driving through Utah, I'd skip using the Listerine mouthwash before the trip. Under legislation inspired by former Jersey Shore reality TV star Nicole Snooky Polizzi, no more than $10,000 of state money can go to pay speakers at New Jersey's public universities. This after Snooky was paid $36,000 back in 2011 to speak at Rutgers University. Okay, all right, if you have Jersey Shore cast members giving speeches to the students, can you really call it higher education? Talk about totally weird! In El Cerrito, California, Catherine Sassin and her husband thought they were doing a good deed. They put a bike that they could no longer use out in their front yard with a sign reading FREE next to it. Well, they went for a 45-minute walk, and when they got back, they found the bike gone, replaced by another bike and two duffel bags. And in the backyard, Catherine found a strange guy sitting on her futon. He told her that he was just waiting to make sure the bike she left out with the free sign was, in fact, free. Well, she got him to leave and then discovered her home had been broken into and items had been taken. Okay, now, the sign said free. That was just the bike, people. Just the bike, not the entire property. But then, you know, the sign wasn't real specific, so… Twitter has suspended 636,000 accounts to tackle extremism. Ironically, that seems a bit extreme. Alaska Airlines is planning to retire the Virgin American name by the end of 2019. They fully expect by the year 2019 to no longer be able to find any virgins. If you'd like to go on a diving tour of the Titanic in a mini-sub, well, you'll be able to do that next year for a mere $105,000. Although, I mean, if you're really looking for the thrill of experiencing a disaster, just spend a fraction of that money and invite all your relatives over for dinner next Thanksgiving. The U.S. Secret Service says a woman who tried to climb over the White House fence was found dangling from it by her shoelaces. Uniformed division officers saw the woman late Tuesday walking around the White House. Agents say she tried to climb over the fence adjacent to E Street when her shoelaces got entangled at the top of the fence and she was suspended inside the fence. After helping her down, officers promptly arrested the woman, 38-year-old Marcy Wall of Everett, Washington, and charged her with unlawful entry. At a hearing in D.C. Superior Court on Wednesday, Wall pleaded not guilty. Seriously, how do you plead not guilty to this? Uh, well, Your Honor, I, I was just walking by, uh, I stumbled over a crack in the sidewalk, and I went soaring over the fence where my shoelaces got tangled. Pope Francis is telling young people to resist the fake reality of social media. I I'm not sure who to believe, though, because I also received an email from a Nigerian prince telling me to ignore the Pope. Willie Nelson continues to insist that he's not dead. We're still waiting for him to show a proof of that fact, though. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. This episode is made possible in part by my Patreon supporters. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar.